Yeah, they're champs. Are you excited? I'm excited. Well, I've been excited to test this beast, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme. All right, champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom, it's Windows Pro time. Finally got my hands on one. And champs, you know around here, come on, sub up, get on the Woo train. You know I'm going to slam this thing. So I'd appreciate a like there. Going to do lots of tests on this. This is the gaming review. Now, I wouldn't buy this as a primary gaming device. You know, this is like a content creator or, you know, professional that wants the game on the side. You don't buy this as a gaming laptop. There are better choices out there for gaming. Now, this one here comes with the 4K display, 100% Adobe RGB display, and it's made for displaying things. It's not made for fast moving images. The pixel response won't be as fast as, say, a gaming laptop. The sound's pretty good. The sound is decent actually keyboard is excellent so all you need is a mouse and you use this keyboard it's the best keyboard on any 15 inch laptop comes with the 8th generation 6th core i7-8750H processor. That's clocked at 2.2 and it will boost all cores to 3.9 and 4.1 single core. Also has a GTX 1050 Ti Max-Q. 16 gigs of RAM. You also have two M.2 slots. So you can put your Windows on one drive. You can put your Steam library on another. Fantastic. That's also great for content creation. Has two Thunderbolt 3 so you can turbo boost it later if you want to add a you know more powerful graphics. So it's got a lot of things going for it but how does it game it's a bit complicated to talk about this i'm on the latest firmware so it's 1.17 or 117 firmware so i don't know what the firmware was like before this i don't know if they've nerfed it at all trying to keep the temperatures under control but overall i'll just say it's very conservative the temperatures don't get high by design but neither do the clock speeds it'll boost initially to you know over three gigahertz but as soon as that gpu is engaged the boost will come down rapidly and even though the gpu is still in the 1600 megahertz the cpu can go down to like 1.8 that happened in battlefield when the temperatures got up to 80 but this is by design it still has like another 10 15 degrees in the bank it can use from its mid 70 degrees when it games to actually you know boost up those clocks you know push those temps higher push that cpu clock higher but it's very conservative as soon as that gpu is lit up that cpu speed just plummets and yes it was very cool it was in the 70s for most games other than battlefield which got into the 80s which is perfectly fine but even when you played battlefield that clock would go down under two gigahertz under its base speed and it's not thermally throttling this is by design Lenovo are choosing to do this themselves. There is power limit throttle in there too, but I presume it's a Lenovo doing that power limit throttling and keeping that CPU clock down. The GPU clock is very high. It's still in the 1600s, 1500s. It's actually better off to underclock the GPU so you, then you can get the clocks up higher. But by design, it's trying to stay in the 70s. As soon as that GPU is lit up, it tries to stay in the 70s and depending on the games, the, the clocks adjust dynamically. Got a lot of CPU usage, that clock will go down. CPU usage is not so high, the clocks will go up can get up to three gigahertz, but you're certainly not getting the maximum performance out of this. And this is the way they've chose to go. Maybe a lot of people like that. They'll like it because, you know, it stays in the 70s. The fan noise isn't that loud because the fan isn't going flat stick. It's in the 70s. So it is one of the quieter ones when you actually game. The temperatures are really low in the 70s. Most games, other than Battlefield, as I said. So some people will like that. They'll feel safe with that. They'll feel that they're going to get longevity out of this. Maybe that's why Lenovo's doing it. They'll think, well, if we push the temperatures higher, we're going to have more failures. And this is good accounting, maybe. I don't know. No, but I say engineer it better let the temps go up as long as the surface temperature on the outside is not hot let it go just give me more performance but that is entirely up to you let me know in the comments would you prefer it to run cooler a little bit quieter and you know not so much performance or would you prefer just give me the nuts give me a big one so anyway let's get into the benchmarks and as you can see with these benchmarks you'll see in brackets is the undervolted score and all these games are run at 1080p medium settings so overall I would say that this is a 1080 p medium settings 50 ish frames per second under vaulted 60 frames per second battlefield 5 we virtually had 50 frames per second this x mankind divided don't know why it wasn't performing that well i only got around 20 frames per second at medium settings gta 5 54 frames per second 
PUBG, 50 frames per second. Witcher 3, which is very demanding, 46 frames per second. So that was really good. Black Ops 4, though, we had 40 frames per second. Overwatch, 94 frames per second. And with Fortnite, we had 70 frames per second. So overall, I would say they have left performance on the table. You can get more out of this if you undervolt it. Maybe if you unlock the power limit. And I'm going to have to see if I can explore a way where I can get it to go higher temperatures and give me higher clocks but even as it is you still get a great gaming experience medium settings 1080p you know near enough 50 60 frames per second depending if you undervolt still good performance and you get a good gaming experience so there are better ones in this class like xps 15 will perform better for gaming but you still get a good gaming performance so anyway look at the gta benchmark run i'd like to really thank you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe because I do have a lot more videos coming out on this laptop. And until next time, guys, Sally ho. Mac or Windows. What's up? I'm Boy